What's up YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar and today I am going to be teaching you at home how to calibrate your niche zero retention grinder. It is extremely easy and I do this about once a week just so that I can ensure that my niche is calibrated at all times. So without further ado, let's roll the intro! notice right here there's a calibrate it's extremely easy to calibrate your niche and I'm gonna show you today how to do that so what we're gonna do is you have this little pin right here and right now this is what I've been using at 20 but I have noticed that there is a bit change so I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate my machine so I'm just gonna twist this big knob all the way over and if you notice the dot is all the way up here and calibrate is right here so now we're gonna move this black piece, not the stainless steel, but the black piece. We're gonna move that over to calibrate. So right here, we're locked on calibrate and it's even with the dot. Now we're gonna move the whole unit, not the black piece, just the stainless steel part. And we're gonna move it all the way back to where I like to have it set. And now it is calibrated. It's that easy. Follow these steps and you guys will calibrate your niche in no time. Thank you for watching. All right, so as you guys just saw, that is how easy it is to calibrate your niche zero retention grinder, and it's a good way to stay as accurate as possible when dosing your grinds. So as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I thank you guys so much for all of your love and support for our channel. If you guys could hit that like and subscribe down below, it really helps support my channel and helps me to keep making content for you guys. As always, welcome to the family. Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.